morning. There is no one they don't think they can play on. There is no fear of God in many people. I have a case on hand right now that I'm dealing with. You can't believe it. You want to flow in supernatural favor, the fear of God is a demand, is a requirement. You can't flow in it. For thou shalt compass the righteous about with favor, as they say. Psalm 5 verse 12. And who is righteous? He that dwell righteousness is righteous. It's not this uh, chocolate righteousness we're talking about. <laughs> he that dwell righteousness is righteous. righteous. If you steal, you are a thief. Yes. No matter the doctrine. Yes. If you defraud, you are a fraud star. No matter the confessions. First John 3, 7, be not deceived, little children. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. It takes the doing order of righteousness to flow in favor. That shall compass the righteous of all with favor as with a shield. This man should have killed those fellows, his brothers. But he said, no. Don't be sorry for yourself. I will watch over you and your family. You meant it for evil. God turned it to good. Forget about the past. Let's go forward. But I fear God. You can't join them in taking bribery and giving bribery and expect favor to follow you. It doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. Amen. Can I confess before the Lord? We've never given a dime as bribe to anybody living or dead in this ministry. Anybody living or dead, who will ask for it? How will you get it? They say, well, you see, you see. Before you see, you see anything. Before you see anything, sir. Before you see anything. When we had no identity. You want to flame favor? Or pray by the fear of God. Or pray by the fear of God. The only way there. Or pray by the fear of God. Number two. Be committed to serving God and the interest of his kingdom as a lifestyle. Not because there is an operation going on. As a lifestyle. It's your way of life. It's not something you are trying to cook. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her has come. Because your servants take pleasure in the matters of Zion. And favor every aspect of it. Therefore, the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and the answer their glory. Fearful favor. Raising your direction for serving God unreservedly. Serving God with utmost excitement. Serving God tirelessly. As in the case of Daniel. Is thy God whom thou servest continually able to deliver from the lions? Continuity. Not uh, hit and run. Continuity. Daniel chapter 6 and verse 20. Continuity. 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 And I will spare them as man spare his own son that served him. <laughs> then shall you return and the between the righteous and the wicked, between him that served God and him that served him not. For the day cometh that shall burn like an oven. But upon them that fear my name, who are serving me, my friend, they'll be growing up and going forth where things are burning down. Amen. That's favor. That's favor. And that's what, what God has reserved for you. Amen. The promised land is a land of favor. So engage with the, the things that provoke that favor and empower you to flow in it. Serving God only Sabbathly. Luke chapter 9 verse 62. The word says, Uzzah puts his hand upon the plow and look at back. It's not fit for the kingdom of God. So you keep your hands on the plow and keep it permanently, excitedly, cheerfully there. As a lifestyle, it will speak tomorrow. Those who commit themselves to serving God continually have secured a great future and then will future for themselves tomorrow. The way it works. Praise God. Praise God. It's your turn for a change of story. Be committed to serving God and His kingdom as a lifestyle. 
Daniel found favor in the land of Babylon because anything contrary to God can fly with him. They know there was no way to catch Daniel except by any law against his God. He won't take it. And he prospered in the land. You will prosper in the land. <laughs> Somebody said he's never written jam in his life, but he's now general manager after four years of no job. He just committed himself to go, uh, you know, uh, pray, uh, win souls and see them established. And got involved in it tirelessly. Suddenly they called him. Got a job, six degree salary, six degree salary, with a car, official car, and a driver. Everything turned. Favor came. God smiled on him. God will smile on many people under the sound of my voice. Okay. <laughs> Number three, sacrificial given and promoting the kingdom of God as in the case of David and Solomon. And now because of my affection to the house of my God. First Chronicles 29 verse 3 he said I have of my I have of my own proper good of gold and silver which I've given to the house of my God over and above all that I have prepared for his holy house. And God smiled on him. Favor decorated him because of his sacrificial giving towards promoting the kingdom of God on the earth. Solomon loved the Lord and the king went and sacrificed a thousand bond offerings and God said, hey, ask me anything you want. I've also given you that which you have not asked, both riches and honor. Now no one will compare with you in your day. That's favor. I've also given to you that which you have not asked. Verse 13. That which you have not asked. Both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. In Haggai chapter 1 and verse 3, all the way to 13, we saw how engagement advances the kingdom of God with our financial resources opens the windows of heaven over our life. The heavens given their rain in their season and they are bringing forth our fruits for us. You struggle and struggle and struggle, you say, because my house lies down in ruin and you run everyone to his own house. Consider your ways. You brought him much, I blow on it, you can't find it anymore. You want wages, you put it in pockets with holes. Why? Because of my house that lies in ruin and you run everyone to his own house. Go up to the mountain and build this house. And bring wood and build this house. And I will take pleasure in it. And I'll be glorified, said the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you come to see the heaven of God, you will stay from you. And they are from you didn't have fruit. Wake up and engage with me. I want to change your story. That's what God is saying. And it's not a taskmaster. You start from where you are. Where do you start from? Yeah. You hear they are building rural churches. Maybe they have one even in your village. Near your house. You can't build one yet. But you are getting there. Yes, so buy one plastic chair. How much does it cost? If you don't have the money, go and do labor. Do labor and buy one and say, Lord, I don't want to miss out of this. I have this one plastic chair to give you. And I thank you for the privilege. That one chair will soon become a house. Amen. Can I hear your amen? amen. But sitting there and say, someday I know I will be able to build. You won't build without starting from where you are. Yes, Ask those who build where they started from. But I decided from building. Do you start school from 100 level? Three year old boy. He said, Boy, want to go to KHM? He said, God forbid. 100 level or no level? This boy, you, it takes a journey to get to 100 level. He said, No, I don't want any journey. I'm living here on this campus. I can't go to any other place. 100 level or no school? He said, no, I'm not angry, but I'm not going to any school other than 100 level engineering. 